Good morning. It's Monday. We're back to school, and you guys did some amazing work on Friday where we sort of experimented with both the brush effect along with making images look 3D by using the edit transform distort function on this wood plank plank. Um, nice job, Henry. Uh, I really like your color schemes. I like uh, the creativity. Sean is going to continue working on this, although as much as I love this red smoke coming off or orange smoke coming off the basketball, I would encourage Sean to use different kinds of smoke uh, and sort of wafting off of Mello's head just to create some variation. Um, that looks good. He's talked about making that ball look like it's on fire. Nice job. I think Autumn did this. Nice job, Autumn. It's And you saved it with your name. Beautiful. This looks nifty. Although, um, this is what I recommend for Autumn, but also for a lot of other people. You guys all have your brush sort of behind your figure, um, in this case, Lissandro. You can have, also have the brush sort of on top of the person and then use the eraser to sort of... Um, to sort of like blend it a little bit. Um, same thing with you, Amanda. I like what you did with the shoes. This looks cool. We're going to continue experimenting today. Um, when you're done, and actually, let me just say, Laura, I love this particular brush because there's some opacity and we can see the um, plank, the floorboards um, through that that um, brush. Nice job. I think Vaqueen did this. or Yeah, I think Vaqueen did this for Joseph and Najee, this is pretty cool. So what are we going to do today? We're just having fun. We're just going to be experimenting with the brushes that I gave you. And if you want to download new brushes, so for example, if you Google um, Photoshop or brush textures or, or brushes, for example, you can pull up lots of different websites. Here are a few. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to um, click one that you like. And when you do, it's going to prompt you. In this case, it has 22 brushes. This is 19, and that's scary. Nobody download this one. This one gives me nightmares. But you're going to download one that you like. Let's say grunge brushes. Why not? It's going to um, prompt you to download. Oh, here we go. Here are the grunge brushes. You're going to download it. When you download it, this is really important. It's going to download as a zipped file. In this case, a WinRAR file. What you're going to need to do to install this into Photoshop, to load it in, you're going to double-click it. You're going to... Press that. You're going to click the ABR file. You're going to drag it onto your desktop. And in this case, I already did it. So now when it's on the desktop, you can close this up. Now I'm going to delete that. The uh, WinRAR, it's, it's gone. So now here we've got an ABR file. This is how we're going to install into Photoshop. Um, we know that we're going to go to the brush and then black arrow then load. Also, here, if you want a different um, sort of black background, you can experiment with all sorts of textures. So I can see that they've got wood floor, wood grain, table. And if you want to change wood texture to metal texture, why not? We're, we're just experimenting. I can see they've got lots of really cool things that are going to um, combine well with your new expertise in using brushes. So have fun. Good luck. Thank you.